should we start with a welcome song? Yeah. We're going to do those in a little bit. <laughs> All right, do you guys remember how it goes? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. What should we do next? Spin. Spin. You guys love to spin. Okay. If you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, spin around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, spin around. What's next? What did you say? Yeah. Clap or jump? Jump. Good one. If you're ready for a story, jump up high. If you're ready for a story, jump up high. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jump up high. Should we do one more? Yeah. What do you guys think? Got any suggestions? You guys are so quiet. Act like, I like that one. If you're ready for a story, act like a kitty. Meow. Can you get down and crawl? <laughs> if you're ready for a story, act like a kitty. Meow. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, act like a kitty. Meow. <laughs> Good job, guys. Today we have some fun spring stories to read about since it finally feels like spring. What are some things that remind you guys of spring? What are some things you see outside? Flowers. Flowers? Those are nice to see, aren't they? Frogs, did you say? Bugs, oh yes, there's so many bugs already. It's crazy. <laughs> Anything else? What'd you say? Creeks. Creeks? Please. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm sorry. Butterflies. Butterflies. Yes. Uh, what else? Bees. You guys seen a lot of bugs? I have too. I've seen flies and bees. They're just all ready for spring, aren't they? Soccer balls? Yes. We're going to use those later. <laughs> you want to sit down for the first story? <laughs> you see them. Yep, we're going to use those later. We're going to read a story first, and then we'll get some of those out, okay? This story is called Mouse's First Spring. Let's see what he does in his first spring. One windy spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. There in the grass, Mouse found something glittery and flittery. What could it be? Butterfly. butterfly? Look, said Mama, a butterfly. Yes. <laughs> they flutter, don't they? Then whoosh! blew the wind, and fluttery, buttery, the butterfly flew away. There under a leaf, Mouse found something slithery and slimy. What do you think it is? A snail. A snail. Look, said Mama, a snail. Then whoosh, blew the wind, and hidey inside the snail hid away goes right in his shell, right? He found bugs. There on a branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. A bird. Look, said Mama, a bird. Then whoosh, can you guys say whoosh, whoosh. Blew the wind and dip, flip, flop, the bird darted away. There. There by the pond, Mouse found something green and peeping. <gasps> what can it be, wondered Mouse. You guys are good. Look, said Mama, a frog. Then, what happens? Whoosh, can you say whoosh, whoosh. The, blew the wind and splishy splashy, the frog hopped away. 
You went in the water, you're right. <gasps> they are in the dirt. Mouse found something pink and wiggly. A worm. It's a worm, isn't it? You don't like worms? <laughs> Do you like worms? Who likes worms here? Me, you guys, who all likes worms? I like worms. You like worms? Who doesn't like worms? <laughs> we got a few that don't. That's okay. <laughs> then, here comes the wind. Can you guys say whoosh? Whoosh! whoosh. Blew the wind and squiggly squeeze. The worm slid away. There on a stem, Mouse found something sweet and petally. What is it? A flower. What can it be, wondered Mouse? A flower. A flower, you're right. Then here comes the wind, ready? Whoosh! Blew the wind and rumply bumply, Mouse tumbled away. Then all around, Mouse felt something soft and cuddly and oh so cozy. A mom. What can it be, wondered a mouse. mouse. A mouse? Smooch, came a kiss. <laughs> and ooch, came a hug. It's me, said Mama. Spring is here, little mouse, and I love you. That's the end. The end. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna use our fingers for some little finger song, finger plays, okay? So what, during the spring, it often showers. Can you guys go like this? Here comes the rain. Make the rain. Or the sun shines for many hours. Both are good for flowers. Make flowers? Should we do that again? Yeah. During the spring, it often showers. Or the sun shines for hours. Both are good for flowers. Yeah. Yes. And here's another one. This is about a fl another flower. Hi. Here is a green leaf. Put up a hand. Here's a leaf. Here's your leaf. Here is another one. How many does that make? Two. two. Can you make two with your fingers now? Good job. Here is a bud. Can you make a bud, like a flower bud? That makes a flower. Watch it bloom. Can you open your hands to see the flower bloom? Good job. All right, now we're gonna read a story about a rainbow. This is called, do you like rainbows? This is called Ducky's Rainbow. Ducky walked home through the red poppy field. She was in a hurry. She happened under the, what color is this? Orange. Orange, under the orange bridge. And waddled around the, what color? Yellow. Yeah, the yellow cornfield. She hurried past the big green tree. It's green and paddled across the cool blue pond. <laughs> Ducky arrived home and looked up at the indigo sky. The violet clouds floated by and the rain came down. When the sun came out, she saw a beautiful sun. So now we're gonna do this story again, but we're gonna, we're gonna hand out the play scarves. So why don't you guys come and get a scarf? I want a purple one. <laughs> oh, let's get, make sure everybody gets one. <laughs> Do you guys want some? Can I have one? You want one? Yeah. Let's see who else needs one. Can I borrow a couple of these so we can give them to the other kids? You want the green one? Can you give him one? You want to get, oh, here we go. Here's some more. Which color would you like? Let's see. Oh. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to read this story. And when you hear your color, your scarf color, you're going to wave it up around, okay? All right. Ducky walked home through the red poppy field. Who's got red? Can you wave your red scarf if you have a red one? 
<laughs> nice. She was in a hurry. She hopped under the orange bridge. Who's got orange? Orange, look at the orange scarves. And waddled through the yellow cornfield. Let's see the yellow scarves wave. Yellow. She hurried past the big green tree. Who's got green? I see green and green and green. And paddled across the cool blue pond. Do we have any blues? Who's got blue? Blue? Yes, nice. Ducky arrived home and looked up at the indigo sky. Hi. There we go, there's a few. <laughs> And when the sun came out, she saw a beautiful rainbow. Everybody waves your colors now. All the colors of the rainbow. Very nice. <laughs> well, we have the scarves out. Let's move them around a little bit. Can you guys wave your scarves up high? Wave them up high. <gasps> now wave them down low. Nice. Wave them really fast. And slow. We're going to wait on these, OK? We'll get these out in just a little bit. Can you wave them behind you? Behind you. How about in front of you? Yes. Now, on the count of three, you're going to toss them in the air and catch them. One, two, three. Yay! Should we do that one more time? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Good job! <laughs> And we have one more thing with our little, our scarves. We're going to make them into butterflies. So if you hold them in the middle, like, can I, like that, yep, just like that. Hold it in the middle so you have two wings, if that makes sense. So, butterflies, butterflies, flapping around. Can you flap them around? Flap your butterflies around. Visiting flowers, not making a sound. Flapping your wings as you go. Flapping your wings up high. Now flapping your wings down low. Butterflies, butterflies, flapping around. Visiting flowers, not making a sound. Can you guys flap your butterflies up here? And we'll put them away. Have any of you guys flown a kite before? No. No? Let me find my kites here. So I have some kites. One little kite in the sky so blue. <laughs> Along came another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about you guys all sit down and then I'll call on one person to come up. Would you sit down? Sit down. Okay. Two. <laughs> Along came another one. Okay. Then there were. How many are there, guys? Two. Okay. Do you want to sit down now? Two little kites flying above me. Along came a, do you want to put that up there? Another one. Three. How many are there, guys? Three. three. Can you show me three fingers? Very good. Three little kites, just watch them soar. Up in the sky, they're soaring. <laughs> Along came another. Can you guys sit down? You want to sit down? Okay. Along came another, and then there were how many? Two. Let's count them. One, two, One, two three, four. 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 Let's see four fingers. Good job. Four little kites so high and alive. Along came another one. Do you want to do it? And then there were five. Five. See five fingers. Very good. All right, we have five. Now should we have them fly away? Yeah. Okay, let's see. You had a turn. Let's see who hasn't had a turn. Um, did you have a, you want to come up and take one off? Okay. Okay, you can take one off too. Let's just wait. You, you, let her take one off here. You want to take one off? Let's see. And you, I don't think you had a turn. Thank you. Can you take one off? All right, thank you guys.
Now it's time for the egg shakers. It's called the spring freeze dance, okay? Okay. Here, we can just put them right out. I'll put them on the floor. I forgot to do that. Are you guys ready? Who's ready? Here we go. <laughs> Three. Oh. Freeze. Like a daffodil, like a flower. Good job, guys. You can bring your eggs up now. This book is called When Spring Comes. You guys can, can't, you can't see back there. What do you guys see on this page? You, a whole bunch of things, right? Umbrella, you're right. Anything else? A flower. Kite. Butterflies. Lots of spring things. Okay. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. Does this look familiar? Yeah? No, not anymore so much, but it was for a long time. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, Spring will make the left up, leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Is the snow all gone yet? Not quite, but it's pretty, it's getting there. Before spring comes, the grass is brown, but if you wait, Spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a, a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like mud? Yeah. <laughs> Who likes mud? Me. Yeah? I'd color pink. No. Do you like, do you guys like puddles? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. 
And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. We're trying to open this up. Spring can come quickly or slowly. Okay. Oh, let's. Oh, I thought you were gonna put it away. We're, we're gonna put these away, okay? We'll put that away. Okay. It changes its mind a lot, but when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. <laughs> there will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. What kinds of things will you guys hear in the spring? Do you guys hear birds chirping? And do you hear bees buzzing? When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. Are you guys excited for summer? Yes, that's a great part about summer. All right, that is the end. Thank you guys. So we have a craft set up downstairs if you want to make a kite, a little kite to decorate. <laughs>